Jennifer Garner takes her three children, Violet, Serafina, and Samuel, to brunch at Malibu's Soho House. Jennifer Garner capped off her weekend by taking her three children to brunch in Malibu on Sunday. The 51-year-old actress was pictured with her three children Violet, 17, Serafina, 13, and Samuel, 10, at Soho House in Malibu. Garner just signed on to reprise her role as Electra in the highly anticipated superhero sequel Deadpool 3. Garner was spotted out wearing a black tank top with black sunglasses and a tan sun hat for the outing. She also wore a black sweatshirt before tying it around her waist, completing her look with black stretch pants and black sneakers. She recently talked up about being out in public as a celebrity, saying, It's an incredible loss when you are the person that the eyes are aimed at. The loss of just being able to smile and say hello to someone on the street as yourself is a really intense thing, she continued. Although the benefit of being able to say hello to yourself was something to mourn and not be taken lightly, the 51-year-old actress also believed it was a natural outcropping of success. In other words, Jennifer stated, it's not anything to be completely terrified about. Jennifer, who was born in Houston, rose to prominence with her main role on Alias, in which she portrayed a double agent for the CIA and a criminal. During the roundtable interview, the down-to-earth actress divulged that a lot of fans still recognize her for her 13 going on 30 role. It's, oh, it's my comfort movie, or, God forbid, my mom's favorite movie, the mother of three joked. She recently starred in the Apple series The Last Thing He Told Me, which debuted on the streaming service in April. Garner will next be seen in Family Leave, a body-swapping family comedy starring Ed Helms, Rita Morno, Fortune Famester, and Emma Myers. It's unknown whether Garner was able to film any Deadpool 3 scenes before the production was halted due to the Screen Actors Guild strike. She also has two projects in pre-production, Fantasy Camp and Jackpot, but with the strike still in effect, those may not get started for a while. She also appears in the TV series Can't Go Home alongside S.I. Morales and Michelle Dawson.